What's up, guys? Surprise! What's up, guys? It's the Matt Man 98. Welcome inside the Matt Cave for another video. Uh, in this video today, we're actually going to be doing a huge, huge uh, reveal here. As you can see in the top left-hand corner of your screen, depending on what, what angle you're looking at this uh, video here, it's the official trailer, re official reveal trailer we got today for Fall Guys Season 2. Now, um, I don't know if you guys have played Fall Guys before, but right now, it's pretty. it's a pretty simple game to beat. It's a I mean, it was basically made for seven to eight year olds, honestly. Um, but the levels are pretty easy to beat. They're pretty fun, honestly, when you don't start raging over not getting your first crown, which I did the first few times. But <clears throat> the good thing is, is that season two is not the same old stuff recycled all over again with new maps. It's new maps plus apparently new strategies to win the match so i'm really anxious to see what we got for season two so this is a little breakdown video for you guys before and of course if you guys are enjoying this and you're ex very excited about fall guys season two smash that thumbs up button make sure to subscribe to the channel turn on those post notifications so you know whenever the channel is live with a live stream or in most cases a video like this one in regards to a breakdown trailer of Fall Guys. So without further ado guys, let's make sure the sound is good on this side. I want to make sure that we have the sound. Um, let me do this real quickly here. Let me do this real quick. I'm going to set up the audio on this side. Let's do... Um, <clears throat> Sorry about that guys. Hang on. Oof. Okay, so this one we're going to do the audio from the headset okay let's go ahead and test that out there we go there it is okay now without further ado guys here is fall guys season two trailer go ahead and do this and we'll press play of course this is officially from a different it's from a different youtube channel i got it from a youtube channel so you'll probably see advertisements at the back end of it so we'll probably um pause the video before that happens but without further ado let's shut our mouths and let's get excited for the very quick teaser trailer for season two of Fall Guys. Hey, I'm Joe, I'm the lead game designer on Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. And I just wanted to reach out and say thank you to everyone who's been playing and enjoying the game so far. As a team, we've been looking at all the fan arts, the memes, and the montages that people have been posting online, uh, and the response to the game has really blown us away. Okay. And today, we just wanted to give everyone their first sneak peek at the rounds and the costumes that they can be enjoying as part of Fall Guys season two. Holy mackerel, that's loud. Okay, let's get rid of this advertisement here, sorry. Believe it or not, this is an HD 1080p. In season two, you'll be dressing oh. your full guy as a medieval hero and competing oh, wow. across brand new rounds inspired by epic quests from the Middle Ages. Traverse giant drawbridges, dodge swinging axes, and scale movable siege ramps in the quest for ultimate game show. Oh glory. shoot! Oh no! Oh no! We have to move platforms. Oh god! Oh my gosh! No. Please, no. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so you have to move platforms. Is this solo or team? You, we can grab... You can grab platforms now and move them? That's crazy. That's absolutely insane. Okay. We hope you've enjoyed the sneak peek of Fall Guys Season 2. We're still adding the finishing touches to development, but if you hold want to stay on. up to date, then... App hold on, hold on. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm really excited about this, too. Uh, Lego Star Wars the, Sky the Skywalker Saga. Really looking forward to that. All right, so let's go break it down real quickly here. So let's mute the, the audio here. Let's go right to here. So these are the concepts. This is actually a lot of streamers that are playing this particular game. This guy apparently is playing DDR while he's playing the game. It's pretty funny. This is cool. They made a cake out of it. Nos. Shout out to One Shot Girl, a fellow streamer. Nice. Okay, let's get to this bottom part here. So this is the original stuff we've got here. Obviously, we've got the the usual default levels. Let's make sure. Let's make sure it's on. I think it's on HD, right? Yeah, 1080p. 1080p. I don't understand why it's so pixelated, but that's their channel for you. Sorry, not in, not in 4K, unfortunately. Um, so this is the usual stuff. I, okay, so here it is right here. As you guys saw my teaser uh, thumbnail, this is actually my thumbnail. <laughs> I got from Fall Guys. Sorry. Great. A for originality, Matt. Yeah. Um, I just don't have the software for it right now, and it's it's been kind of glitchy, so. So apologize for the lackluster thumbnails, um, but but yeah, this you see here you got a little bit. I think it's a wizard, a wizard outfit. You've got a dragon. Someone was teasing actually on a earlier. They were telling me that this is actually there's going to be a dragon costume. I thought they were full of crap, but apparently they're not. Apparently they data mined it and found it. Uh, we looks like we've got a knight here, a Viking. I can dig that. I can dig that as a Minnesota Viking fan. All right, 
And another knight. This knight looks like pretty cool. I like that color scheme there. It's pretty cool. Uh, these are just three of the cosmetics they have for the game. They probably can, you probably unlock them with the season pass. I would I would imagine. Um, let's let's see here. So then we've got. Let's move on to the gameplay. Okay. All right. So this is all basically medieval themed. It looks like. So let's see, take a look at the maps here. So we can break down what exactly you're supposed to do with the new rounds. So is this in addition to the to, to the classical rounds then? I would think I would think this is in the addition to the classic rounds. They'll probably they'll probably scrap some of them. Hopefully they scrap seesaw. My God, I please scrap seesaw, please. So based on this, this looks like a fall mountain like um, aspect. But based on the the video we just saw, it looks like these platforms here you actually have to move when you you know how you grab and you um you grief people. Apparently griefing is no longer a thing. You have to grab the platform and move it. Like apparently with this particular thing here. So that's that's pretty interesting. So you move this over here, and you have to be able to use the platform. If the platform's not there, you need to be able to move a platform over to jump over. So it looks like they're going to have to, like, this one here, you, you can, I, I don't think you really have to grab it, though. It looks like they're already preset on this one. So you just jump up here, blop, go over here, blop, blop, done. This one's easier. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, bum, done. We'll probably use this and move this over here, and you can actually utilize this as a shortcut. And that, of course, is the finish line. And I wonder, what, oh, they have little maces here for axes. Nice. Little uh, spiky axe, a little shout out, a little Mario uh, Brothers like axe there. Nice. I guess that's the finish line for that one. That seems like a pretty easy level, honestly. This one, this one looks ridiculous. This has got to be a freaking like last level competition. This one looks absolutely insane. I would think you start here, and so if here it looks like you uh, kind of go through, it looks like goo there, or you can go through a little bit of a um, an axe on, or I should say a, an axe. Yeah, it is an axe. An axed up little uh, boat here. This one I'm curious about. So I guess these things rotate as you go. And maybe as you hit this little spike thing here, you probably can get knocked over by it. But this this is pretty uh, pretty complicated. It gets here. And so you basically go through two sets of those. You know, so apparently you're probably going to be like almost like doing the same thing as you did on um, the rollout. So then you got this. I guess you slide down, try to avoid these little things that are swinging back and forth. Um, here's another one. I would assume this swings around like this all the way as a 360. goes up in the air and it can bap you if you're not careful. Um, same thing here. This looks like slime, so it's probably a slime climb portion here. But this is interesting here. So I wonder if each of these platforms collapse open like this. Like it's a drawbridge, where it drawbridge is up, and if you're not careful you can get knocked down. But, uh, that would make sense. And plus it looks like the drawbridge here, you can stay here. That, or you can maybe just, if you get it flat enough, you can probably, oh no, no, it's actually, no, that's actually the other bridge. So here's a drawbridge. That's a nice little obstacle there, a drawbridge. So if you don't time it correctly or pick the right drawbridge, you fall to your death. That's cool. I like this level. It's going to be, I know it's for a fact, it's probably going to be a pain in the a pain in the butt to uh, to beat, but uh, you know what? I like I like a challenge. I really do like a, a new challenge for this game. That, I like this one. It's probably my favorite ones of them so, uh, thus far. So then this one looks like probably grabbed, it's probably as we call it a uh, level grab ass, um, <laughs> where you run up here. Well, actually, no, 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 I take that back. I take that back. This looks like it's probably, um, judging by this little area right here, this is probably like the egg match. So you grab a bunch of stones, bring them back to your team. So there's team blue, there's team yellow, team red. I would think that's just the, those are the only three teams for that one, just like you did the egg game. So I guess you pick it up, there's a drawbridge. Oh, that's challenging. I like that. That's challenging. Check this out. So you grab the egg. It's no longer just grab the egg and run and get trolled by people. You grab the the stone. Probably, it's probably a dragon egg more than likely. They'll probably keep it as the egg. You move it over across this drawbridge. You have to time it perfectly and then drop it in your zone. So that makes it better because people that are trying to grief you and go into your zone to try to take your eggs won't be able to now because they have to time the drawbridge and then they have the axes here that can whack people out of the... Uh, the area. So that's nice. I like that. That's a pretty nice uh, adjustment to the egg game. And of course, this one's like the hoopsie daisy with drawbridges. It seems like the drawbridges are a pretty common theme in the game. Makes me wonder though if these platforms, based on the, the gameplay, are movable in a hoopsie daisy uh, part two. So I, I basically call this hoopsie daisy uh, 2.0 is what that one is. Okay, and this one, I'm that's probably that's another version of hoopsie daisy. You can see, yeah, yeah it's definitely a drawbridge because there's wheels here. Um, I guess there's a little um, a jelly platform hill they could bounce off up and launch them um, across the map. I'm assuming that's what that is. This one's pretty generic. Hang on a minute. Let me let me go back a, like a couple of seconds here. 
here we go. This seems pretty generic. This this looks like the DoorDash again. This looks like DoorDash, aka um, aka Black Friday Drill 101. So you start here, it's like DoorDash, I think 2.0 here, but instead, instead of falling down, it looks like there's a slime climb at this point to get to the finish line. So that's a nice nice combination of, um, I think it's called uh, Tilt-A-Whirl? I think it's Tilt-A-Whirl combined with DoorDash makes this one here. That's pretty cool. So you have little DoorDashes, that or it, it, either it goes up or down. It looks like it's ones you just smash through the doors. Um, you have to pick them. Um, that's my first assumption here, but this I'm wondering what the green, the yellow, and the red are supposed to be. Maybe they're just slime. So instead of just you simply going through, you like have to like kind of maneuver around some slime here to get through. That's what I think this stuff is. So that's uh, that's actually really good. I like these maps so far. They're really creative. All right, so here's that one where we were talking about earlier. Oh, this actually might be the one we we're just looking at. Is this the one we we're just looking at? I think so. Um, uh, I think it is. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Real quick. Yep, that's the one we're just looking at. Wow, okay. Wow, I was way off then. <laughs> okay, so strike by everything I just said about that one. This one actually is the one they were talking about, they were showing in the trailer, where I guess you gotta move these platforms. This is the level where you have to move the platforms. Okay, that makes sense what that is. Wow, ah, I feel stupid. So you move these platforms onto this one, to these walls here, to be able to get over. So it's all about strategically trying to move things. If you're on a team, obviously your team members will help you out, because you all want to get to the finals in the end, honestly. You know, move it together, move it over here, and the first to the finish line wins. Okay, so let's take a little bit, a little gameplay look at here. There is the, uh, there's Tilt the World 2.0. There's new costumes, the knight, fresh medieval style, wizard, dragon, witch, viking, another knight. Okay, so this is that. Okay, so this is that. That's the level we're just just looking at. This is the one we're looking at where people are dragging, dragging platforms over. Look at this. So they're using that. Hold on. There it is. Right there, they're move, maneuvering the platform right here, which is actually pretty... That's a nice creative little uh, way of doing things. If you want to, don't have to dive and grab onto it. But if you want to speed run, I would think you probably just go to the platforms that are already made and try to get your way through it. Yeah, there's Hoopsie Daisy. Okay, and you can move platforms in Hoopsie Daisy. That's awesome. Awesome. A little more challenging this time around than as before. And that's basically it for the video, unfortunately. So, so that's basically it, guys. That's uh, Fall Guys uh, Season 2. Fall Guys, the Ultimate Knockout Season 2. Um, let's go ahead and go right about here. Let's go right about to this point in the video. All right, so that's it for the video, guys. If you guys are super excited for Season 2 of Fall Guys, that's a nice little teaser trailer. I'm pretty sure they're not going to just settle on just that alone, but it's good to see that the Fall Guys devs are not resting on their laurels where they're going back to the same old crap they're always doing. They're actually adding more creativity to their, their levels and making it more challenging for quite frankly, which is really nice. For those who don't have a, a crown yet, um, I feel bad for you because they just made it a little bit more difficult. But maybe this might help you to, maybe it might give you an advantage over the people that usually just speed run past things and find shortcuts. You never know. But um, I really enjoy it, honestly. The first week I played the game, it was kind of trigger inducing because I couldn't get my first crown. Um, but once you get that first crown, I think you become more relaxed and more like, okay, whatever. You know, I didn't win, I didn't get a qual, whatever. But um, says the guy who has 10 crowns now, and this guy. So, and I've only played, I think I played like a total of, in all the days I've spread out, I've played it. I think I've played at least a week and a half to two weeks, but I haven't done consecutively every day. So, um, take that for what that what that's worth. But, uh, but yeah, guys, if you guys are really excited about season two of Fall Guys, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Leave a comment in the comment section down below what you would like to see the devs do the game, what levels you'd like them to remove, add to the game, things that you don't like about the game, things you do like about the game that you like the devs to to fix or to change uh, because the devs are always watching. They're always looking at Twitter feed. They're always looking at people's streams to see what the fans think of the game. And they listen. They really do. They listen to the streamers. They listen to their, their chat. And they're very, very awesome devs. And I, I really, really hats off to the devs of this game. They're incredibly smart and they're very, very in tune with the fans want in the game. So with that said, guys, Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, by also, make sure to go to my Twitch channel as well, where I usually live stream. It's twitch.tv slash the 98 Make sure to follow. Subscribe if you are feeling gracious enough. And uh, check out that channel as well. Make sure to support me there. But other than that, guys, I'm the Matman98. I'm going to turn my camera off, let you guys enjoy the rest of this little video here. Let's go ahead and unmute this here. And then I will see you guys in the next video right here inside the Mac Cave. Have a good night, guys. Peace out.
Season 2, you'll be dressing your fall guy as a medieval hero and competing across brand new rounds inspired by epic quests from the Middle Ages. Traverse giant drawbridges, dodge swinging axes and scale movable seed ramps in the quest for ultimate game show glory. enjoyed the sneak peek of Fall Guys Season 2. We're still adding the finishing touches to development, but if you want to stay up to date, then at Fall Guys Game on Twitter is where you want to be.